Hello. I am Officer Jennifer. Hello. Good afternoon. I am assigned to take your citizenship interview today. Do you know why you are here today? Yes, officer. Today I am here for the naturalization interview and exam for my American citizenship. Okay, good. So how's your day going so far? I was little bit nervous before coming here, but I think I am fine now. My brother came with me to boost my confidence. It's good to have someone close when you feel nervous. Don't worry, you will do just fine. I hope that I can answer all your questions. That's nice to hear. Now, please follow me. So before we start the interview, I need you to place you under oath. Please remain standing. Raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Have a seat, please. Are you ready? Yes, officer. I am ready. Do you have any questions before we start? Yes, officer. I would like to inform you that when I applied for the N-400 application form online, I wrote only one address instead of two on the application form. I missed to list the other address that was included in the last five years where I had lived before. Can you correct it, officer? Okay, I see. Thank you for clarifying that information. Okay, I have officially listed the other address. Is there anything else I have missed in your application form that needs to be updated? No, officer. Thank you so much. You are welcome. So, let's begin the interview. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I love America and I love freedom. Also, I respect the form of government in America. Explain how you are eligible to become a U.S. citizen. I am over 18 years old and I have been a legal permanent resident for seven years. Now, please show me your green card, passports, and state-issued ID. Sure, officer. Here are all of my documents. Okay, thank you. You are welcome, officer. What is your first name? Arjun. What is your last name? Kumar. And did you use any other names before? No, officer. Do you want to change your name? No, officer. When did you become a permanent resident? I became a permanent resident on the 20th of July 2013. What is your social security number? It's 3492798232. What is the date of your birth? My date of birth is the 29th of August 1989. What is your country of your birth? India. Okay, good. Now we will move on to the history and civics test. Okay, officer. Who makes federal laws? Congress makes the federal laws. That's correct. Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? The president. What does the judicial branch do? The judicial branch reviews laws. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? He freed the slaves' emancipation proclamation. Very good. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? There are nine justices. That's right. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. Well done. You have correctly answered all the six questions. Congratulations.
You have passed the civics test. Thank you so much, officer. Now, let's proceed to the reading and writing test. I am going to read a sentence to you, and I need you to write it down on the tablet. Are you ready? Yes, officer. I am ready. Please write this. Canada is the country north of the United States. That's correct. Now please read the sentence on digital tablet out loud for me. What is the largest state in United States? Very good. You have passed the reading and writing tests. What is your current home address? I live in 69 Queen Street, Manhattan, New York, 72892 USA. Do you still live at the same home address? Yes, officer. How long have you lived at your current home address? I have been living in my current home address for four years now. What is your previous home address? 832 Lincoln Street, Brooklyn, New York, 21379 USA. What is your phone number with the area code? 8328711199. Were your parents U.S. citizens? No, officer. My parents are not U.S. citizens. Have they visited United States? Not yet, officer. I hope they will visit United States one day. Was your mother or father a U.S. citizen before your 18th birthday? No, officer. What is your height? I am 5 feet and 9 inches tall. What is your eye and hair color? Both my eye and hair color is black. How do you support yourself? I am a postgraduate student at New York University and I also have a part-time job. What are you studying? I am doing my post-graduation in mechanical engineering. What kind of part-time job you are involved in? I am working in a car repair and body shop named Manhattan Auto Repair Inc. How long you have been working there? I have been working there for the past three years. Before that I was working in a bakery shop. Have you taken any trips outside the U.S. during the last five years? Yes, I went to India. How many total days did you spend outside the U.S. during the last five years? I stayed in India for 15 days. When did you leave and return to the U.S.? I left on the 20th of January 2018 and returned to U.S. on the 5th of February. What was the reason of your trip? I went to visit my family members. What is your current marital status? I am single. Have you been married before? No, officer. I have never been married. Okay, let's move on to the next part of the interview. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, officer. Have you been declared legally incompetent? No, officer. Have you ever failed to file your taxes? No, never. Do you owe any taxes? No, officer. What is tax? A tax is a financial charge levied by government on citizens to collect revenue for public works, to provide the best facilities and infrastructure. Do you belong to any groups or organizations? No, officer. Have you ever been a terrorist? No, never. Have you ever been a member of a gang? No. Have you ever been arrested or committed a crime? No, never. Have you ever sold or smuggled illegal drugs or narcotics? No, never. What do you mean by narcotics? Drugs, such as heroin, cocaine, that produce numbness and near unconsciousness. Have you ever been deported? No, officer, never. 
What do you mean by being deported? It means expelled from a country, typically on the grounds of illegal status or for having committed a crime. Do you know the meaning of genocide? It means deliberate killing of a large number of people from a particular nation or ethnic group with the aim of destroying that nation or group. Do you support the Constitution and the form of government of the U.S.? Yes, I do. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms in the U.S. armed forces? Yes, I am willing to. What is to bear arms? It means that I will use a weapon to protect the U.S. if the government tells me to do so. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services for the U.S. armed forces? Yes, I am willing to. What is non-combatant? It means that I will help the U.S. armed forces without using a weapon. Are you willing to help the government during a national emergency? Yes, I will. Do you promise that everything you said is true? Yes, I promise that everything I said is true. I need you to sign your application. Please read the changes that I made based on your answers. Kindly review and make sure everything is correct. Everything is correct, officer. Please sign your name on the digital tablet. Thank you, officer. You are welcome. Since you have passed all the tests and met all the requirements, I am going to submit you application for approval. This is a copy of your test results. Thank you, officer. If there are no other issues, you will get a USCIS notice form in the mail regarding your oath ceremony date. Thank you so much. Do you have any questions for me? No, officer. Thank you again, officer. You are welcome and congratulations again.